Hello ladies and gentlemen who are watching our video today. We would like to welcome you to watch our video about co-transport. What is co-transport? Co-transport is a biological process in which two substances are simultaneously transported across a biological membrane by a single protein carrier or transporter. This mechanism is crucial for the movement of molecules or ions against their concentration gradients, which would otherwise be energetically unfavorable. It's simultaneously transported and against the concentration gradient. Co-transport is an essential process that enables two substances to move across a cell membrane simultaneously. It's powered by specialized protein carriers, and there are two main types, symport and antiport. In symport, two substances move together in the same direction across the membrane. A common example is sodium and glucose. Sodium moves down its concentration gradient, pulling glucose along into the cell, even against glucose's gradient. In antiport, substances move in opposite directions. For instance, sodium ions move into the cell, while calcium ions are pumped out. Sodium's gradient provides the energy to push calcium against its gradient. These mechanisms are essential for maintaining cellular balance and performing critical biological functions, like nutrient absorption and ion regulation. So now let's move to the applications and issues of the co-transport. Co-transport has remarkable applications that extend beyond cellular biology into real-world uses. In skincare, nanocapsules are used in anti-aging products to improve the delivery of ingredients like retinol or vitamins. These tiny capsules ensure better penetration into the skin and protect the active ingredients from degradation. In sunscreens, nanoparticles like zinc oxide provide enhanced UV protection. In medicine, co-transport principles inspire innovations like lipid nanoparticles, which are used to deliver chemotherapy drugs directly to tumor cells. This targeted delivery minimizes damage to healthy cells, making treatments more effective and reducing while co-transport has many benefits. There are health-related concerns to consider. Some products that utilize co-transport technology, such as cosmetics with nanoparticles, can cause allergic reactions or toxicity due to ingredients like preservatives or UV filters. One issue with co-transporting cosmetics is the risk of allergic reactions. Nanoparticles used in these products can interact with sensitive skin, triggering redness, itching or swelling. Ingredients like preservatives or UV filters may further aggravate the skin, especially in those prone to allergies. One major issue related to co-transport in drug delivery is drug resistance. Some drugs rely on specific co-transporters to enter cells, but over time, cells can adapt by reducing or altering these transporters. For example, in cancer treatment, tumor cells may downregulate the co-transporters used for drug uptake, making the therapy less effective. This highlights the challenge of designing drugs that can overcome resistance and maintain their effectiveness. That's all from us, and thanks for watching guys!